What's good everybody, Jamie Lewis back at y'all with a reaction video, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, any videos y'all want me to react to, hit me up, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, the start at Jamie at jvlewis77, got a Patreon of $1 tier, Jamie Lewis, hit the notification button to be alerted when I post new videos, check out my Twitch gaming channel, Jamie Lewis, as I play on Xbox One, check me out on TikTok, Jamie Lewis 77 and I started membership, so check that out if you're interested in joining. Now, what I'm about to react to is this week's top 10 moments in NXT. Now, the two big things we got going on is we got a women's battle royal to determine the number one contender for EO Shirai's title, and we got a gauntlet match to determine the number one contender for Finn Balor's NXT championship at the next takeover. So, we know the five competitors are, you know, we got Cameron Grimes, we got uh, Bronson Reed, Timothy Thatcher, Kyle O'Reilly, and Kushida. So it's good to see these type of guys, you know, getting in the mix, you know, because like I said, we got to start establishing who's the top contenders, you know, as we establish in like the mid court too, as we know that uh, Johnny Gargano is kind of like messing around with Damian Priest, you know, so, and we got to figure out like who's going to be the next uh, contenders for this uh, NXT tag team titles. As we're seeing, go they out here doing their thing right now. And of course, we got other feuds out here brewing. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get to this top 10. Number 10. And now he calls this Northern mm. Damn, Rich Holland's a big dude, boy. Yeah, you know they're going to push him. Damn. Oh yeah, I definitely want to see this. Yeah, we we got to we got to see these two go at it. Oh, oh, both of them go down. Put up a good fight, though. Now Damian Priest back inside. Mm. Side theory. Mm. Once again, theory got the wag juice. Putting on some good matches, but still, you got the wag juice. Team, look, teamwork make the dream work. Yes, sir. Man, Kane Carter is yo. Kane Carter top five, sexy dude. Oh, yo. Oh, I'm not done with you. Damn. Okay, I'll take that. But look at this. Bronson Reed so aware. Oh. Sorry, man. I had to take advantage of that. He's still looking like, wait. What just happened? Uh huh. Oh. Damn. Okay, I haven't seen anybody do. When it was the last time you seen somebody, I mean, he did blindside him, but he came at him from the front, though. Usually, 99, everybody jumps a cat from behind. He came from the front to get him. The pixie, ooh. Uh. Oh, oh. I like how they did this right here. Uh-huh, there you go. I like that. 
Oh, man. Oh. Yo, that whole sequence was nice. That's some innovative shit right there. That shit actually worked. Look at it. It worked. Cameron Grass. <laughs> nope. Submission special. Man, Kyle O'Reilly, baby. Man, hey. Let me tell y'all something. The first time I ever saw Kyle O'Reilly was in Ring of Honor. Um, it was doing the, uh, the Prospects Tournament. And this was when I was going to my boy crib and this was when Ring of Honor was on HD Net. I mean, which was on HD Net uh, TV, which is now the Access the TV channel. And his match was against Jonathan Gresham. And I became an instant fan of both of them in that match. And to me, it always seemed like that Kyle O'Reilly was going to be that guy. When him and Adam Cole was a tag team, when they was Future Shock, Kyle O'Reilly was above and beyond the star. And Adam Cole was like that cat people weren't really feeling back then. So it just sh surely shocked me at the time how Adam Cole became the guy. He just leapfrogged Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly was still damn good, but just the popularity of Adam Cole. And I, I never saw Adam Cole as the guy that he is now. I thought Kyle O'Reilly would be that dude. But the fact that both of them became Ring of Honor champion, that they feuded, and now they back together and undisputed, you know what I mean? And now Kyle O'Reilly getting his shot. Now, he not beating Finn, no doubt. He's not beating Finn. Kyle O'Reilly time is coming. Kyle O'Reilly, let's keep him in the main event picture because we already know it's going to be a great match. So I'm looking, definitely looking forward to that. I'm glad he, he getting his shot. So, all right, y'all. So let me know what y'all think. What y'all think about Candice winning the, you know, Battle Royal? It was funny seeing the Battle Royal because uh, I heard that it was another COVID outbreak. So they put a lot of women who usually be in the crowd into the match just to fill spaces because I guess some people actually are sick. So a lot of them I recognize like, you know, they okay, they NXT, they be at the, you know, they were wrestled at the house shows and stuff like that, but they haven't been on NXT USA TV. So a lot of y'all probably like, who the hell is that? You know, uh, so I, I recognize a lot of the girls that haven't, you know, you ain't seen on TV yet. But it was good for them to be out there. I can't remember. I think it was Jessie Kamea. Was she out there? I can't remember. If she went out there, then she might be one of the people who's sick. I don't know. And um, one of the girls who was out there, honey, Ellie. Like, I didn't even, like, is she, I don't know. I don't know. If she was, Like, is she signed to NXT? She must just be somebody who was there and they put in there. But it was good to see Brandy Lauren in there, too. But, uh. But yeah, so all right, y'all. So let me know what y'all think. So subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Hit the notification button. Check out the Patreon. Check out the Twitch gaming channel. Check out the TikTok. Share the videos. Check out the memberships. And I'll catch y'all good people next video. Peace.